Matt is trying to get something out of his robotic wife, Kate. I'd like a cup of tea, Kate. No, thank you. What are you wearing tonight, Kate? A white dress. Choose your words carefully before you start spitting them at people. Rachel, you set this for us. Hello, fellow couch potatoes. Welcome to my channel. Let's get to today's video. Episode kicks off with Jack and Dom complaining about Carolina who is up her ass in skincare masks. I honestly think that she's so up her own ass that she finds it hard to even realize what anyone else is saying. Meanwhile, Celine Dion is still all by himself. He is also still confused about what his breakfast having gym going, rap listening, woman wants. Meanwhile, Carolina is daydreaming about Daniel while brushing her hair. I have been texting a little bit with Daniel back and forth. Mitch is creating reasons to leave saying there are loud mouths who try to put their input in relationships and that it's not very positive. He says the experiment is just toxic. It's a lot of drama and bullshit and unnecessary immature childish crap. And I hate that. It's rubbish. Which is why we tune in, Mitch. This is exactly why we tune in. There's fun around every corner. Ella is nervous Mitch will leave as he consistently threatens to do so. Matt is trying to get something out of his robotic wife, Kate. I'd like a cup of tea, Kate. No, thank you. What are you wearing tonight, Kate? A white dress. Matt says... He is starting to feel defeated and Kate reveals that Matt is a nice person as a flatmate and she would give him a 7 out of 10. Now try give him a 1 out of 10 as a boyfriend at least because as a husband you are not rating him at all. I feel like a bit of a lost lamb in the paddock looking for answers. Pre-ceremony. Girls talk, Sab is questioning her decision to stay with Al and she's getting teary, which makes me think she's going to break our endangered species heart. The boys are also catching up and Jack says he sees a future with Dominica. Definitely think that Dom is essentially someone I see a future with. Carolina and Tamara have matching hairdos, which is unfortunate. Speaking of similarities carolina is still going on about unnecessary similarities she believes adult partners need to have tamara gives her unsolicited food advice he likes food do you like food <laughs> and dom has kept her cool while listening to this yeah, i do like food nonsense i think they've come to save us i i call shit that you can't find a like a similarity like the fact that you're human and the fact that you're breathing means that you you share similarities they share the same air dom they share the same air meanwhile ella tells sam and olivia that her week has been the hardest yet in her confessional liv tells the cameras that mitch was silly for coming on a show if he didn't want to deal with this tv stuff and it sucks that ella has to defend him eventually it's time for the commitment ceremony First up is Dominica and Jack. They appear to be falling for each other and Jack confirms that Dominica is just enough for him. They both write stay and draw pictures of dogs to honor the week that was. And Mal says woof woof. Woof woof. <laughs> well guys, you are on a fabulous track. We couldn't be happier for you. Matt admits they've hit a hurdle. The hurdle being Kate isn't attracted to Matt at all. Optimistic Matt says Kate is taking a glass half empty approach. Kate then tells the experts she tried to build a connection just by being around him, like if Matt was a piece of furniture. John asks Kate how she interacts with Matt. She thinks she is polite and not rude to him, which is a big fat lie. Damn. And I would encourage you to try because otherwise in the experiment or outside the experiment. See you staying exactly where you are and that's not what you want. Kate chooses to leave. Matt decides to stay because he thinks Kate is worth fighting for. Next on the couch is Ella and Mitch. 
The couple give their maths expert the rundown on the week that was. Mitch says he's a private guy when he's not doing nude handstands in the shower, of course. Mitch reveals that being in the experiment doesn't feel like reality, noting he's struggling with cameras. What else is going on here? <sighs> I don't know if we can really talk about yeah, it. Yeah, we can't really talk about it. John then steps in, telling Mitch that using the experiment as a reason for his problems is a cop-out. If you want this relationship, suck it up. This is, uh, this is ridiculous, okay? I'll go, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go, with, I'll go. And Ella and Mitch then reveal their decisions to stay in the experiment. Selena confirms that she likes likes Cody and Cody also likes likes Selena. Oh, yeah, I like like him. Okay. I do like like Selena as well and that was... Aww. What are we, 12? Is this high school? What's happening? I'm kidding, I'm kidding. With their relationship going brilliantly, both Cody and Selena choose to stay in the experiment. Sam and Al are up next. Sam has always had concerns about Al's maturity and Al's behavior throughout the week really didn't help. Sam thinks she lost herself and that her conversations with Al weren't deep enough. She feels herself squishing her ambition. To be honest, like there are things that I need in terms of a deeper connection, passion, inspiration that I'm just not really getting. And I feel myself squishing my ambition and like my passion. Al is said to hear this and wants to work on himself to make her feel better. He wrote stay in bubble writing because he's a bubble person. I'm a bubbly person. person, so I write stay. Mm. Sam notes the week has been tough before revealing her decision to leave. I really didn't see that coming. Not at all. Like, I was 99% sure she'd about to stay. Are you serious? Yeah. John advises Al it's time to grow up. Next up is Olivia and Jackson and Liv reminds the maths experts that their mom's names rhyme. They both choose to stay and Tamara and Brent are then up next. They've had a good week and they are managing Brent's moods very well. Um, the difference between before and now is we can communicate it. Yeah. Uh so they both choose to stay. Carolina and Dion are up on the couch. Celine Dion is defeated and feels hurt after Carolina's all-round turdy behavior. It's gone from... Bad to worse. You? I was definitely laughing at you, Jessie. Oh, ah, burn, Jesus. Alessandra and Mal call her out while John lists out the reasons that she can't bond with Celine Dion. No struggle, no breakfast, no documentaries, and she doesn't get sarcasm. And she tells John to add no gym and no coffee to the list. Carolina knows that what she said is hurtful but says it's the truth. Oh, Andrew, look what you've done. Since she doesn't take criticism well, she deflects and says she's Latina and that she has a temper. Alessandra sets things straight. A little personally um, insulted with you trying to justify such nastiness on your being Latina. And with that, I believe we owe her a round of applause. <laughs> and instead of acknowledging Alessandra, Carolina deflects again, revealing that English is her second language. Me too, babes. But forget it. You won't. No, nope, forget it. No. Nope. Because of my body language, the way that I, my too. face... Carolina wrote leave. Dion said what he wrote doesn't match what he's feeling right now and he wants to change his answer to leave even though he wrote stay. John basically doesn't let him leave which is simply torture for this poor man. Why John? Why? Why would he do that? He's a jackass. <laughs> Dom says she was bullied at high school and Carolina is rude. I'm not going to engage with you. 
Carolina storms out and Dom tells the room Carolina's been acting like a bully and clearly she can't deal with being called out on it. A person like that is just an asshole. Olivia has unleashed, saying, You've just got to hate somebody. So Dom and Liv are going at it. Liv says Dom went for Jess last week. Um, sorry Liv, but on the Jess thing, she was right. She was right on the money. Jackson backs his bag. Dion sneaks out and Carolina is now telling Celine Dion that he put all the blame on her on the couch and is pissed off that he would check on her. She would be pissed off regardless. Okay, back to Dom, who is telling people that, that behavior straight to me and a person that's a bully needs to be called a bully. Bullying is a repeated behavior, Dom, and we've seen you repeat this behavior over and over again. Dom tells the cameras she will not stand for being called a bully. She says it's the worst thing someone could say to her. I can't wait for next episode. I cannot wait for the next episode. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comment section below. Hey, Couch Potato, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you soon.